Good morning, or actually good evening. What is going on, everybody? We are at Newly Henry Lake right now, and we are in Gadsden, Alabama. We're actually we're in Odinsville, because we're at our good buddy, Scott Canterbury's beautiful home here. Check out his kitchen. I'll show you a little man cave here in a minute. Beautiful home here. We've been here all week, okay? And we've been fishing the Bassmaster Elite Series tournament here on Neely Henry. And uh, guys, I didn't make the cut. I missed it by just a little bit. If you if you want to see what happened, you got to go back and check out check out uh, day one and two of the video. <sighs> Crazy guys. Crazy deal today. It was just oh, it was one of those things. It's just so frustrating. It was actually today. Today it was so frustrating. Lost some nice fish. Canterbury had a tough one. But here's what's cool. Here's what's cool. Our boy Matt Airy is gonna win the tournament. He's gonna win the tournament. I'm calling it right now. So guys, this video right now we're starting it off. This is gonna be day three, right? Which is normally the day that we'd all be maybe doing like a cut video. We're all gonna be sitting on the bank cheering him on. We're gonna have the guys follow him in the boats. We're gonna have cameras on him. The whole nine yards are gonna to get to see day three of the tournament. That's what's going on today. That's what this video is, guys. So we're not going fishing, but Matt is. We're cheering him on and uh, we're excited for him. So here in just a little bit, we're, gonna, we're all gonna hit the sack and we're gonna send Dylan out in the morning with Matt and we're gonna regroup, guys, for the, for the next event, you know. Finishing 55th, not gonna hurt me too bad on points. I think I'll probably stay about the same, I hope. I need to win a tournament, right? I need to win one. But for now, we're pulling for Matt on this one. He's gonna win it. I think it's gonna be fun, dude. We're all gonna be cheering you on. It's gonna be awesome. You guys cheer us on. Be sure to follow Matt's Instagram. Be sure to follow his Facebook page as well. We'll drop some links in the description down below. Team SMC all the way, guys. Let's get it going. This event was sponsored by Whataburger. Yes. And look at this little koozie. This is not a Whataburger plug. I have nothing to do with them. I just like the burgers. <laughs> if you turn it, so yeah. anybody that knows me knows I like hot food, right? The mm -hmm. best thing about Whataburger, mm -hmm. oh. turn it inside out. Yeah. It's the spicy ketchup? It's the spicy ketchup. It's the spicy ketchup pack. <laughs> That's cool. That's one of the coolest things I've ever had. That is cool. And I got one of those called pop sockets. Pop, what are they called? Poppets? They go pop socket, yeah. Pop socket? Yeah. Is that right? Or are you trying I to make it look so. I think so. I think it's pop socket. Yeah. So I don't have one of those for my phone, but this one's yeah. going on the back of it here soon. Yeah. Yep. We got a kit 15. You said it. 15, 15. 15, 15. You got 15, a shot 15, this thing. you got a shot. Because you had 15 the first day. Yeah. So we're sitting at 25 and some change. Leaders got right at 30. 15 and 15, I think we got a shot. What I said it would take to win was 55 pounds. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. somehow we got to find some four pounders. Three and well, a half. You four found pounds. them every day. We've only found one today, <laughs> but they have it still. Tomorrow the wind's gonna blow, and I like that. It is gonna blow. It's gonna blow 10 to 15. Oh yeah. Yep, I like that. You know, I didn't get bit good on moving baits today. I had to pull out the little little spinning rod. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, tomorrow we're gonna pull pull the big sticks back out. Oh, throw yeah. some moving baits. Try to catch some bigs. That's what we gotta do. All right, dude, we gotta go. It is uh, 4.20. Look, I've, I've missed cuts before. It's not the first time or the last time it's gonna happen. Again, I, I said it yesterday in, in the other video, it's like, you know, there's tournaments you go out and you just don't have a clue and you just don't do good and you just never figure it out. And that's that happens. And that stings in a certain way. And then there's other tournaments where you kind of figure it out and you don't execute. And those sting even more. Because like the executing part, right? Catching catching a fish that, that hit it is way easier than finding them. Finding the fish is the hardest part. Catching them is usually not the hardest part. And I missed them, and I don't. And some of them didn't even hit the spinner bait, so it's not even really. I don't even know what to do. And, and you know, everybody's saying, "Oh, that's probably your hooks and all this stuff." It's not. It's just. It's just. I don't even know how to explain it. Lost one on a crankbait yesterday that felt pretty good, but the spinner bait fish was what cost me. I literally saw them. They were there. We're gonna put that behind us. We're gonna save all this for the 2020 video that is gonna be coming up soon. And you're not gonna to wanna to miss that one, guys. But today it's all about Matt Airy. So Matt, I need you to go out there and you need you to smash them, dude. And we're gonna be pulling for you. We're heading back to Florida, Jake and I. We're gonna to try to make it home today so we can spend a little time with our mother and my wife and do some family stuff. And we're pulling for you, dude, so. All right, guys, so that's right. Um, I'm actually headed out. But uh, the funny thing is he uh, was asking me if he needed to wake me up today. Um, to be ready to leave by 4.30. It is now 4.27. I haven't even seen him out of his bedroom yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> Speaking of the devil. Are you ready? I'm ready. One minute. I'm proud of you, buddy. I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm on time You're today. right on time. <laughs> hey, McCoy. Where's Scott and Jake? They just bounced. 
like five minutes ago. Oh, they let him sleep? See, buddy. He really does deserve a break. Of course, so does Dylan, but Dylan's gonna work today. Appears to be a little cleaner in here. Got him. Good one. Running at me real fast. God. Not a big one, but it's a start. God, I thought he was a lot bigger, dude, because it was a spot. He slammed it. He's not big. Paul, uh, Neil, what do you want? One six, maybe? That's number one. Yeah, I thought when that one hit, we had it for big. It hit like a dang tank. That's the smallest one we weigh in, we'll be okay. What's he doing? He's just chilling. Look at him. Yeah. What are you doing? I just love the water, that's all. Now, don't chase this. Well, these suckers didn't get fired up yesterday until later. Pretty good spot, too. They don't give up, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Fatty there, that's the right kind of spot. So picky, Neil. No. I'm just kidding. He hit it and he went quick with it, like there was more there, you know, but we'll see. Two five pounders and we'll be all right. They come up schooling on this little point yesterday. We didn't catch nothing but little bitty ones, but the ones that came up schooling look like two and a half pounders. Your dog's a trip, man. He's awesome, he's beautiful. He was standing in the water back there, just watching, he's watching my top water go back and forth. There's some big natural rock down there. I think this was probably making it so good. I think there's some of that mixed in with a good hard bottom. Oh, he came off. He was in the rocks and he came off. No, something's still on there. But I think it's a stick or something. I don't know what I got. I don't think the fish is still on there. It's like a giant tree and I can't even get to it. That's what the fish got me in when he came off. I must have it hooked good. Like real good. That was a cluster. I knew I saw one bowl on the shad over there. I saw one bowl on the shad over there. I knew I did. We got us a 12 incher. If I would just throw that spinner bait in every time one would boil, I'd catch one on that three blade. Got four for what? What's our unofficial? Uh, 512. 512. Yes. Don't mess with us. Do 
didn't bite this thing in today. They only bit it the first day. You ought to know keep trying to force it. I tied on a green pumpkin today just to see if they, maybe they wanted a different color. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. Don't come off, please. Gosh. Mm. Don't jump. Always got it sideways. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the right kind there. It might just get ugly on that spook today. Is that a fish? Oh, dude, he was foul hooked and he was around something. Yeah, no wonder he felt so dang big. <laughs> he was foul hooked and he was like in some line or something. Never felt him shake his head. If he's 12, he ain't gonna help. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a better one. Big one. Big one. Giant. Could have pulled a Scott Martin and said giant. Biggin, 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 biggin. That's a pretty good impression. Biggin, 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 biggin. Biggin. Watching you climb up that leaderboard on Bass Track today. Had you inside the top 10 at times. Let's see if we can get you there. Five fish, if they go 10 pounds in an ounce, it'll put you in the lead. Five more today worth 11 pounds and four ounces. Gonna take you all the way into first place. It gives you a three day total of 36.15. So this is looking like Matt Airy may be moving into championship Monday here at the Whataburger Elite. We certainly won't know until the end, Matt, but uh, again, based off of Bass Track and just looking at the numbers, looks like you might have one more day of fishing here at Neely Henry. I trust Bass Track about as much as I can trust the rest of these fellas back here behind the stage. But uh, no, we're gonna go sweat it out. It's been a fun week, man. The, man, this crowd's awesome. It gas it shows out on a Sunday, don't they? This crowd's awesome, man. Alabama has got a fishing following. It's probably one of the biggest fishing followings that we, anywhere in the U.S., but a uh, phenomenal fishery. You know, I, I'd, like a, I'd like another shot tomorrow, but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's going to happen. But, yeah, we had a good week. Got to stay at my boy's Can 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 Canterbury's house this week, and uh, needless to say, we had a good time over there. We ate, let's see, deer meat one night. Charlie come down there and cooked uh, barbecue one night. We, we've eaten right this week, that's for sure. And it, if we don't make it, we may or may not even slide back to his house and have a cold one. Yeah, hey, we've got, we got room for others. We would like to stop by too, Come on. Maybe. Tell Scott to throw some meat on the grill. It ain't my house. Y'all can all come. There you go. You heard it. Open invitation. Scott Canterbury's house. Thank you, Matt. We'll see if you get to fight one more day. Good job, dude. Thanks. Good job. Slow and steady. I mean, we hit we hit a little flurry for about an hour there, and uh, we had a couple opportunities that were we had one come unbuttoned on a spook that would have given us about another pound, and then we had another one jump over a spook that was a big one, like a three three and a half pounder. So we could have we could have had up there, you know, we could have had a 13, 14 pound day. We just we just didn't land all the bites. And I guess they were pretty much out of my control. It wasn't nothing I did. It just uh, it's just top water fishing. So uh, maybe we'll get a chance to go tomorrow. Maybe we won't. And if we don't, you know, we still had a good week. Had a lot of fun hanging out with you, buddy, and all y'all. From just down the road in Springville, Alabama, Wes Logan. All right, Wes, it was a very exciting day out on the water watching you on live. Let's call it. You got five in the bag. You need 14-4 to take over the lead. Looking for 14-4. 16 pounds and 15 ounces. And Wes Logan, your day three water burger elite here at Neely Henry Leader. Phoenix Boat Big Bass right now, four pounds, 11 ounces, held by Jason Christie. You need that to tie it anything larger that'll be yours for today if it's larger than 511 it'll be the big bass of the week
Five pounds, four ounces are going to be the big bass for today. Sitting in first place, it's been a good Sunday, a good Mother's Day for you, Wes. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, first off, I got to say happy Mother's Day to my awesome mom. I mean, I wouldn't be here without her and my dad. But, I mean, as far as the bag goes, I mean, it looks great on paper. It was really a grind. I mean, I caught, I had six bites all day and caught those five good ones and one little one. Uh, but, I mean, the good Lord blessed me. Like, my fifth fish, I, I really shouldn't have caught it, like, where it was at and what I caught it on. But, I mean, it... I don't know. When it's meant to be, it's meant to be, so I'm ready to go tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if we'll be in the lead or not, but, I mean, as long as you're fishing on the last day on this lake, anything can happen. We got a weather system coming in, so, I mean, it, it's it, it's going to be good, but the only problem with it is they're dropping the water real bad, so that's going to hurt me, so I got I to gotta adjust a little bit, and we'll see what we can do. How do you feel, Matt? I feel relieved. Because we slid in there in 10th place by just a little bit. You know, I don't ever like to use the term swing for the fence because we do that every day. Every day we fish, we try to catch them. We try to catch as much as we can every day. Swinging for the fence, ain't no such thing. I'm going to go out and do everything in my power to try to win the tournament tomorrow, which is the same thing I did today. One thing I will do that I learned today is I'll keep a big walking bait in my hand a little bit more tomorrow. They haven't been biting it real good this week, but I did have some good blow-ups on it today. Had some uh, caught one or two good ones on it, so we're going to keep that in our hand a little bit more tomorrow probably. That might be the only thing we do a little bit different. We've caught them on five or six different baits, so tomorrow it wouldn't surprise me if I have to pull something else out of the rod box. But we're going to keep throwing a tackle box at them and hopefully catch a couple of those magical Neely Henry four-pounders. Mythical. I should say mythical, because this week they're few and far between. What are they? Food, boy. Don't be picky. I'm the only one in my family, and my brothers, that clean my plate every time we ate dinner. I ain't just saying, I always clean my plate. Where I've been fishing, that creek's been getting so much pressure. I had to try to figure out a different way to catch them every day. Tomorrow, it's not going to have the pressure, but the big question is, how many's actually left in there? <laughs> That's the question. You caught two on a spook and had two more bites today? No, I caught, I caught, I landed three on it. No, oh, you landed three. And I, uh, I lost one and missed two, I think. Catch any on that worm? Hollywood. Uh-oh. Hollywood. Nobody knows who Hollywood is by now. That's Hollywood right there. <laughs> what's going on? Dang, what's going on? What's going on? That was my hair. It's looking good. It's looking like a top 10 haircut. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to think you had the best hair at FLW. Now I'm thinking I, t I stole that. I stole that <laughs> well, crown. You has got the best, the best hair over here. Mine's still, mine's still a little, uh, yours is... Still you're, from this morning. Yours is not white, though. You know, that sucks. I'm getting all kind of gray. You know, that's terrible. <laughs> He says it's a top 10 haircut and all this, and your barber is quitting. You shouldn't have said that, dude. What uh -huh. are you going to do now? Your you barber's not going to cut hair anymore. What are you going to do? I ain't thought, of, I ain't thought that far Oh, ahead. my gosh. Hey, listen, dude. Good job, man. We watched uh, on the plane. We watched when we got on the, on the ground. And then we watched all the way up until about, I don't know, right at way in, I fell asleep, dude. I was dead asleep. I didn't watch the way in. <laughs> I woke up and I'm like, oh my god, I missed the way in. I was so tired, dude, and I went in there because I was like, I know it's going to be tight. Yeah. And you made it 10th place, dude. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't think, you know how Bass Track, everybody sandbags like crazy. And I was, yeah, I mean, yeah. Neil Paul was my marshal today, so we were we were about a pound light. But I saw, I guess it was Polinick and Fighter, and we were all like neck and neck on Bass Track, and I was in 10th place yeah. unofficially, and I'm like, there ain't, I'm like, there ain't no way. You know, there ain't no way. And it uh, worked out. So, hey, we, uh... Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Awesome. Right on, dude. So, listen, we're going to be pulling for you tomorrow, dude. We're going to be watching on Bass Live. You're going to have a big camera with you all day tomorrow. It's going to be great. And, uh, dude, we're going to be praying for you, man. Jack them up, dude. You can win this thing. You're only, you're only what, uh, three pounds or so out of the first? No, it's, uh, 37, 43, about six pounds. I mean, I need a, I need a, I need a miracle day. That's what I need. I need it a big, big day. It can happen on this pond. Yeah, I mean, there's. It's doable though. There you are. Know the most dangerous. You know who the most dangerous guy in the tournament is? The guy that has nothing to lose. That's right, and that's you. Good stuff, man. Back him up. Thanks for the call, Good guys. Time. Yep. See you, dude. See y'all. Okay.
we're just checking checking the weather here and we're gonna have uh what'd you say 25 percent chance 20 percent chance of rain yeah we're gonna, good cloud cover all day we just saw a bunch of lightning outside and you know i don't like lightning for a top water bite i don't know what it is about that i, I don't personally don't like it. i just haven't had good luck with it that doesn't mean anything i'm still gonna throw it tomorrow <laughs> yeah it's only like it's only like eight o'clock you know yeah so i mean you got all night settle down which reminds me that's 7 23 and that might sound early but i'm getting ready to go to bed because <laughs> we've been getting up at before four three something you mean you got up at like 3 30 every yeah. morning 3 45 every morning and uh, we've had about a 45 minute drive but i'm getting ready to hit the hay so i go catch me about 20 pounds tomorrow All right, final day. We have squeaked into a top 10. First one of the year, and uh, hey, hero or zero today, but look, I got my girls here. The family showed up, surprised me this morning at blast off, and uh, I, I, you can't wipe this smile off my face. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna throw a big bait today. We're gonna try to get five big bites because we gotta catch a load to beat Little Wes. And, and the crew up top, they got about a five or six pound cushion on me. Um, but hey, we're happy to be fishing on Championship Monday. Uh, we're gonna give it all we got, see if we can't come away with today. And last but certainly not least, inside this top 10 on Championship Monday from North Carolina with 3615 Matt Derry. Good one. Gosh. Oh, that was good. Oh, it's a big one. Yes, baby. Going. Yeah, baby. Yeah. 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 I'll take five of them.
Relentless spot right there. I don't think that was the same fish either. But, gosh, can't get him. Sorry, fish. Spot, so mean. But that's a good spot, man. It's a two pounder. Too, man. It's a good day. Hey. I yep. knew those sweet yep. tarts would bring you good luck. They did. Every time I <laughs> ate one, I think I caught a fish. It was a good day. I cannot complain. We had a uh, had a lot of fun. Um, caught quite a few on top water today. So uh, got some good blow ups. Um, gonna be a lot of fun for everybody to watch, that's for sure. I know uh, we caught some good ones on a spinnerbait, caught a big one right there at the end. Not a big, big one. I mean, for here this week, it was a pretty big one, probably three and three quarter. Um, and we got a good bag, you know, 13 pounds probably, Wait. somewhere around there. We might have a little bit more than that. I didn't weigh any of them, so don't cuss me if, uh, if I'm a little off on the weight. But uh, yeah, overall, it was a good day. You know, we had a lot of ground to make up. I knew we had to catch 17, 18 pounds to have a shot. And uh, it looks like even if we'd have caught 17, 18 pounds, we probably still wouldn't have walked away with it. Gordon, Wes and Paul, I think both have about 13 each. So. Um, but had a good day, picked up a few points, picked up some extra cash, which is always good, and uh, got to get ready for Gunnersville. Again, you pan around, you'll start noticing these cameras. We got a drone flying right here. So let's really show them what gas in Alabama can do. So on three, I need 10 seconds of absolute craziness. You guys ready? One, two, three! Come on, guys, and let's go crazy. We got the drone flying. Come on, louder. One, two, three! All right, let's get this party started. He snuck into the top 10. 
He is from North Carolina as we have him cruise up in his Toyota Tundra. Let's get loud for North Carolina's angler, Matt Airy. Show it on my screen, five fish for North Carolina angler. Come on up. First place, you don't need much to get this hot seat occupied. Again, 36.15 through your three days of fishing. 15 pounds and two ounces all the way up to first place with a big bag to start off this way in. 52 pounds and an ounce. Pretty good Monday for you today. Yeah, I can't complain. And actually, that four pounder came at, uh, I think Bass Track had him checked in at 229. <laughs> we had to check in at 2.30, but I called him about 2.25, and we had to get in there and call and get in really quickly. But, man, this for a Monday, I'm going to tell you all what, you all ought to be really proud of yourself. This is this is the best crowd I've ever seen on a Monday. I mean, no doubt about it. And we have had some final Mondays, no doubt, especially with the crazy weather. But I, uh, my daughter, Reese, uh, big shout-out to them. My wife brought the girls down last night, drove down from Shelby, North Carolina, to be here for the weigh-in. She gave me some sweet tarts this morning for good luck. She knows it's my favorite candy, and you all can see what's left here all gone but every time i eat one i think i caught one today so that was a uh, that was definitely a blessing but uh thanks for all the support friends family all the fans man it's it's been an awesome week down here at neely henry we dug ourselves a little hole with a couple tournaments earlier this year but we're back we righted the ship and uh, hopefully we'll have a good week at gunnerville next week well you were in the lead we're gonna see how long that lasts you can't catch a 15 pound bag like that on the final day and not have to occupy the hot seat for a little bit let's hear it for your new leader of north carolina matt airy with a big bag to start off let's just get he talked about it. he needed a kicker and he might have found a couple today 39 two through g's three days 15 pounds even, and Gerald Swindle will move into the top of the leaderboard in first place with 54 pounds and two ounces. Right, so we got knocked out. Uh, we got knocked out of the hot seat, but two guys left to weigh in, Paul Mueller and Wes Logan, and both great guys, don't get me wrong, but Paul's got a blue trophy, and I'd love to see little Wes get one. Wes has been close in several big tournaments in the past, including the Forest Wood Cup a few years ago, if anybody remembers that one out at Lake Wachita, but, um, it's Wes's home lake. His whole family's here. Home crowd favorite. The crowd will eat it up. It, it, it'll be good. It, it, Wes can pull this thing. Come on up. Not gonna even hold it up before the crowd. He wants to get it to the stage. Five fish in the bag to unseat Gerald. You need 11, 13. Looking for 11, 13 with these five. 13 pounds and 13 ounces, and that's gonna put Paul Mueller into the lead here at the Waterburger Elite. Ready to bring him in. Guys, and you guys ready to crown a champion here at the Waterburger Elite? Because we're getting ready to do it. He went out in the lead. Let's see if he can stay in the lead at the end of the weigh-in. 43.8 was his three-day total. He is from Springville, Alabama. Let's get loud for Wes Logan. No matter how this shakes down, gas and I need you going crazy when we make it official. He's digging in the live well for a Neely Henry kicker. Let's see how big it is. There you go. Could this be his first ever Elite Series title? Was close last year at Gunnersville. He's looking for 12-12 for Wes Logan. 12-12 will do it. If it's anything lighter, it goes to Paul Mueller. Looking for 12-12. 14 pounds and an ounce. And that means Springville, Alabama's Wes Logan is going to be taking home his first career Bassmaster Elite Series victory here at the Waterburger Elite. And we're about to introduce you to the newest Elite Series champion from Springville, Alabama with 57-9. Get it out for Wes Logan. Try to tell me what's going through your head, Wes. I know it's special especially to win. It's hard to win one, but to win your first one, especially here, I know this means so much to you. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I've led a bunch of, not a bunch, but I've led some tournaments, like big tournaments, going into the last day and just never been able to close it out. I mean, everybody's just always been like, I West is not a closer. He always chokes on the last day. And I mean, the morning started off, like it started off bad. I made a bad decision where I wanted to start. I knew better. 
and then I just kind of got the ball rolling, and then I caught a good one, and I caught another good one, then I caught a big, or that biggest one late, or not late, midday, and I thought when I called that one I had a chance, because I knew somebody was going to catch a bag today, or a big one, and make a run at it, I knew, I figured I needed it. I thought I needed 13 when I started fishing this morning, and then just the way the weather was, I knew the fish were going to be biting. I thought I needed a little bit more, and I mean, the good Lord blessed me. I didn't really, I caught them different all three days, or all four days, really. I mean, I weighed in every fish today on a dirty jig swim jig and never weighed one in in the last three days. So I just went out there fishing, and that's what happened. Step out there again, and let's do this again, because it never gets old. I'm sure you know that with 57.9, your Waterburger Elite Series champion here at Neely Henry West Logan with 57 pounds and nine ounces. Taking on that blue trophy. Scotty, Hollywood. God. What's happening? Did you win? No, I did not You're win. Late for a minute, I watched you. I was. <laughs> let, let me guess. It was like at seven oh five this morning. Yeah. Yeah, I had exactly. I had four fish in the boat by then, and uh, actually actually uh, ran down. It's just it blows my mind how many guys absolutely smoked them within a mile of the ramp all week, and uh, so I ran down. Um, you know where the grass was where you caught a couple had some bites yeah. so i went yeah. below that probably another mile or two and there's a really good stretch of grass down there there's a dock and there's a there's a couple docks down through there yeah and i caught like all four of those like in the first hour <laughs> and i was like hmm i said this is this is good stuff and then i i just kept because there were so many boats like five of the top ten were all jumbled up around takeoff so i was like man yeah. i'm just gonna i'm gonna try to expand so as i ran down river i just hit a whole bunch of different little grass stretches and i caught like one or two shorts and I made it down to my primary area and I picked up that spook and I had like 12 blow-ups on that spook today. And I caught, I caught, I think five on it. But problem, I watched you go, you were reeling and out of the water. You went to reel out and one hit it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the problem was, majority of those blow-ups were spotty bass. I mean, just about all of them. I mean, there were good ones, two to two and a half pounders. But the problem was, I knew I needed to get to catch a big one. So I went back with about 30 minutes left and I got to fishing that grass again and I didn't have a bite. And at 2, 2.22, right there where you had a bite or two, close, it had to been close, I caught a 4.1 and called a, and called a 2.4. And it was like entered in bass track at 2.29, but it was like five minutes before check-in. So, and that gave me 15, whatever. So I knew I knew winning was a long shot, but hey, we, we moved up to fifth. That was... That was about as good as I could do, I think. So that right, was good. What makes me sick for me personally is is that I took off on day two, and and I went north. Now that we can talk, I went north for a few minutes, or I feel like thirty minutes. I didn't catch anything, and then I turned and went south. And I was going down the river. There was nobody on that stretch, and there was like birds. And I go, I'm stopping, and I just pull over right to those birds. Boom! I caught one. And I'm like, all right, let me just keep going for a minute. Boom! I caught another one, and then I just kept going. And then when I came back up that afternoon. No one was on it again. I fished from the bridge <laughs> almost to take take off, and no one was on that stretch. And I caught another, I caught another two pounder, two and a quarter. Pulled my my smallest one, and and that's where Swindle caught all his fish today, dude. Was it was like a fifty that's, yard stretch of where I caught my last fish? Swindle, Christy. Logan, Bob Downey, all were within like two or three miles of the ramp today. Yeah. As far as I know, they were all that. And yeah. I you know, never left on day, if I'd have stayed there all day on day two, I would have, I would have caught a couple more fish. Obviously, you I mean, caught I, it. I never even weighed in a fish from down south the whole day. Every fish I weighed in came from that grass, and I only fished it for four, like three hours. At least eleven so, or twelve pounds minimum if you'd have fished it all day. Yeah. Minimum. Yeah, yeah. I'm not kind of having them miss it. So it was just crazy how they'd come up behind the spinnerbait, just like hit it, but not get it. Yep. Like, I. Clear. I had a couple do that. Now I caught two gar on my yeah, spinnerbait on my trailer hook, but I you, you're right. You could tell which ones were bass, and I actually well, I saw them. Like I, saw, I physically saw yeah. the whole fish, like eyeballs, lateral lines, everything <laughs> go like this. Shit, I'm like, oh, crazy dude. But awesome job, dude. You moved up in points. And, Thank you. Um, my turn next tournament. Big G. My turn. Yes, Big G. Well, Canterbury, Canterbury needs a good finish too. We got to get him we, back. Yeah, we both. Back yeah, up. I need a good finish. He needs a good finish. Yep. Well, we're. That's what we need to do. We're in the classic cut. That's the goal. That is the goal. 
Good job, dude. I'll see you in about oh about five days. Yeah, uh, maybe yeah four days, five days. Yeah, five days. That's about right. Five so, days. I'm coming back to Canterbury. So I'm gonna fly in Birmingham Saturday night. Uh, sounds good, man. I'm gonna drop McCoy off at the airport tomorrow, and uh, I'll see y'all in about five days. So safe travels. All right, buddy. Thanks, see you, brother. Man. See you. See you, dude. All right. You got to close it out. You got to give it a bam. <clears throat> we got to give it a bam. got to give God, it a bam. God, dude, you don't like 80 hours of fishing this week, and I got to give it a bam. Like so and tired. subscribe. Like and subscribe. What am I, like your little mini ad? <laughs> um, so, it's been a great week here at Neely Henry. I know uh, I know Canterbury didn't have the tournament he wished, but um, he will bounce back. I mean, you're talking about the 2019 AOY. Uh, but we did. We, we we got the job done this week. We we got a top five finish. We got back up at the classic cut. Um, need to keep the momentum rolling. Momentum in this game is everything. Anybody, any professional angler that tells you, um, you know how important momentum is, it, it line. I mean, you can you, you you're in a slump. Next thing you know, you got two or three top fives in a row. So um, got to keep that train rocking. Uh, but we will see y'all at the big G next week. Bam! Good enough. He didn't hit the camera. He didn't even touch it. He didn't it. even cover it up. He didn't even cover it up. Like I fist. don't care. That was lame. I'm not bamming again. That, you know, you're just trying to make me look stupid. Bam! Bam!